Hi, hello students. Welcome back to our channel. This is Navin. Today, I have brought to you a very important reaction that is called Shapiro olefination reaction. So, in this reaction, olefination of aryl sulfonyl hydrogens takes place. Okay, aryl hydrogen of aldehydes and ketones will takes place. Okay, let us read the statement. What what I have written here, that is. Synthesis of alkenes. Okay, what we are going to do? We are going to form a synthesis alkenes via organolithium mediated decomposition of aryl sulfonyl hydrogens. So this is what I written here. Okay, of aldehydes and ketones. So in this organolithium mediated decomposition that is nothing but organolithium organolithium acts as a basic medium so by organolithium base so it acts as a medium so in basic medium i can say decomposition of aryl sulfonyl hydrogens of aldehyde aldehydes and ketones we will get alkenes or olefins so if you see here this is aryl sulfonyl hydrogens so how it is formed before going to hydrogens let me explain you what is hydrogens okay so in this reaction we have taken tosyl hydrogen right here look at here so earlier we would have nh2 sorry nh2 and nh and tosyl so instead of writing tosyl you can write uh, the structure let me write it again nh2 nh and s i mean sulfur the double bond go and benzene okay choline at para position so if you see instead of writing this old structure we can write ts it is nothing but tosyl right so what is happen how it is formed aryl hydrogen right so if you see here this so it looks like a ketone functional group here so let me write the ketone functional group which i have written there r1 okay r1 and here ketone okay then r2 so what i can do elimination of water molecule so from this ketone i can eliminate hydrogen and from this one i can eliminate h2 so that is elimination of water will give us r1 c w so i can write the structure r1 c double bonded n okay this double bond will attach to this nitrogen and the remaining structures are the atoms i can write here so instead of writing this old structure i can write ts okay here r2 so what has happened we have generated okay so if we have a double bond between this uh, ketone and nitrogen it is called hydrogen okay hydra zone right and if we have a normal nh2 bond nh it is called hydrogen okay hydra gene so it is tosyl hydrogen it is tosyl hydra zone so if you if we have a uh, aryl groups in place of r1 so that is called tosyl hydra zone here you can see this is a product that we have generated earlier and two moles of a uh, two equivalents of organolithium or LDA lithium diisopropyl amide in the presence of ether dry ethyl ether we can get uh, olefins so this is a general reaction okay we are going to learn the mechanism of shapiro olefination reaction let us learn the mechanism of shapiro olefination reaction so 
in the general reaction i have written one compound that is called tocyl hydrogen so for my convenience i can write uh, that tocyl hydrogen in this way r1 earlier i have written r1 to this side and r2 to this side so i am replacing that places replacing those places okay and nitrogen is here and nitrogen one more nitrogen with the hydrogen and tocyl group okay so in the general reaction we have base so i mean r li i have written right so for my convenience i am going to take butyl lithium 1 2 3 and lithium here okay i am taking one more butyl lithium so r means it can be methyl lithium butyl lithium isopropyl lithium whatever okay and lithium okay here metal is more electropositive character when we compare with this chain okay this aliphatic chain so it possesses partially positive charge and this carbon possesses partially neg negative charge and the same pattern will happen here also partially positive charge and partially negative charge so due to that this aliphatic chain okay this hydrocarbon chain acts as a base okay so it acts as a base here we have alpha hydrogen and here also acidic proton i can say acidic proton or alpha hydrogen right so this abstracts this proton and here also this hydrocarbon I mean basic hydrocarbon here right abstract that proton and thereby we will get a resulting structure that is this let me write here clearly R okay double bond N and bond N so this proton has abstracted by this base right so we will get a negative charge over nitrogen and tocyl here and R1 will be here and we will have a negative charge at this carbon right we know that lithium plus okay lithium is having positive charge okay here also lithium plus it roams in the reaction itself and it roams in the reaction itself and try tries to make tries to make a bond with any electron rich atoms okay because it need it needs electrons right so it is having positive charge right it it tries to get electrons okay partially not permanently okay and here you can see tocyl tocylate is a better living group so it leaves okay it takes the sigma bond electrons and goes away here then even though we are having negative charge over nitrogen it will get a positive charge because it its bond has migrated towards this tocylate then we will get a positive charge here then here pi bond pi bond electrons so pi bond electrons are very free to make a bond with electron deficient atoms right then we will get a positive charge here right so to balance this positive charge at carbon this negative charge of this carbon involves in a double bond formation so thereby we will get so elimination of lithium tocylate okay so once it has taken the sigma bond electrons it will have a negative charge and that negative charge abstracts this lithium positive charge atom okay then what we will have r2 and single bond double bond here you can see r2 single bond and a double bond and a single bond here and double bond between nitrogen and nitrogen and we still have negative charge over nitrogen and r1 here okay so here you can see we have negative charge over nitrogen right okay now this test this step is very important right here this carbon 
takes this sigma bond electrons and this electrons this negative charge over nitrogen involves in a double bond formation because why by taking the sigma bond electrons between this nitrogen and this carbon okay nitro uh, carbon takes the sigma bond electrons thereby it will get a nitrogen will get a positive charge to balance that positive charge this negative charge of L, the negative charge of nitrogen will involve in triple bond formation so why it is happening here he because it is happening because the outgoing okay the outgoing or the byproduct nitrogen gas is very stable so that's why this step is happened right so what we will get i write i will write here so what we have here bond okay here bond and negative charge over this carbon r1 okay we have one more lithium right lithium will come here and let me write the structure r2 corresponding structure and lithium will be placed at this positive charge i mean it it is having positive charge right so it gives its electrons to this lithium plus and it will make a bond between carbon and lithium okay it is not over yet because we have two different ways to get different products here right so if we do hydrolysis it is a partially bond okay it is partial bond then we have r dash okay r1 here alkyl halide so if we go through this acidic hydrolysis what we will get this bond will take away okay will took off because it is partially bonded so what we will get here a double bond first here we will have hydrogen earlier and we will get one more hydrogen and r1 so what we have generated olefin okay olefin we have generated and we have one more choice to do so here alkyl halide right so this is hal this halogen is having more electronegativity so it can takes this sigma bond electron towards itself we will get a positive charge here so this bond will come and give its electrons to this alkyl i mean positive charge having alkyl that is i can say carbocation so r2 double bond here we can get r dash here r1 here and h here so this is a two products you can take otherwise you can take any alkyl group isopropyl tertiary butyl whatever it may be okay so this is all about the shapiro olefination mechanism let us have some examples according to shapiro olefination reaction so it is very simple if you see tosyl hydrazones with the organolithium or lithium diisopropyl amide in the presence of solvent that is nothing but diethyl ether whatever you have solvents okay so we already know the mechanism and general reaction what we can get in the general reaction right so i can write it very simple so one more point is here that is here less substituted less substituted olefins are the major products so if you see here if i form a double bond here so it is doubly substituted 1 2 if i make a double bond here it is tri, tri substituted right so 1 2 3 if i make a double bond here so less substituted olefins are the more stable products because if we place a double bond okay if we if we place a double bond as a tri substituted one so there is a steric crowding effect so that's why the less substituted olefins are easily formed in this reaction so that's what i want to share so i can write the product like this so cyclohexane here here double bond 
so here you can see it is di substituted if i place a double bond here 1 2 3 it will go in tri substituted okay the product will takes place at uh, the product will form less substituted one so that we have to remember in this also you can see the double bond will come here not here if it comes here what happens this is the one okay the if the double bond he is made here here one here one two three it is tri, tri substituted right so what we want we have to generate less substituted one okay as comparing tri substituted di substituted di substituted is the less substituted right so we have to go the go with that rule okay so this is these are the examples that i can give to your homework and i hope you have understood this reaction very well if you understand this reaction please give a like and share with your friends and share as much as possible and finally i'll be waiting for your comments thank you